y'all, I wanted to share with you a little bit about uh, resizing and renaming with the Windows Live Photo Gallery. Um, I have here some photos that I want to blog about. Um, some photos from a trip I took to a scrapbooking store to get some uh, hybrid items. I'm going to be trying a hybrid project. And um, so I want to resize all of these at once to get them ready to go to my blog. Now, when I do them in uh, Photoshop Elements, you know, you have to open each up in the Save for Web feature. It takes a while to make all the changes in the settings. Um, if you're doing a mass uh, amount such as this, um, you can do it much quicker in the Windows Live Photo Gallery. So I've navigated to the folder that I um, have these items in and I'm going to click Control A and that's going to select all of them. You can see the blue around um, each one of them. I'm going to go to the File drop down menu, choose Resize and the pop-up box comes up. I'm going to um, click browse because right now it's got this saved uh, going going to be saved back to the folder uh, where they're originally at and I don't want them there um, for uh, safekeeping I want them on uh, my desktop and on my desktop I have a folder just called hybrid so I'm going to choose that, and that's where um, they're going to go now. In this drop-down box is a, a choice of sizes. Um, you can choose uh, 640, 800. These are in pixels, um, 1,200, 1,024, or 1,280, or you can choose custom. Now, for most blogs, doing the smaller 640 would be uh, be adequate, but I'm going to choose custom because I often save all of mine um, 600 and um, then simply uh, click resize and save. And there it goes. It's going to go in there. And you can see it is doing it fairly quickly. We're on 15 of 23 photos, so I'm not going to blog about all these. I'm going to go back later and, and uh, pick and choose certain ones. Now you can see here on my desktop is that folder. I'm going to open it up and there they all are and you can observe first how they're named if I would have told this to put it in the same folder where they um, are the originals are uh, they would have been renamed to have the 600 by 400 beside them or whatever size that you uh, chose and so um, it has taken that longest side and made it 600 and kept things proportionate and made the other side a 400. Now what's, let's say I want to uh, rename all of these. Um, if you uh, want to even have all of your uh, photos renamed, maybe you want to have uh, all of them for from Christmas 2008 to have 2008 Christmas 2008 in the name. I'm going to work with these on the desktop. I'm going to navigate to them. These are the saved ones. I'm going to once again select all, go to the file drop-down menu, and this time choose rename, or you can use this shortcut of Control M. And then over here in this sidebar um, it uh, gives uh, you a choice for a name and I'm going to just name it hybrid and 
you can see it's gone back in here we've gone to the folder now on my desktop and it's gone back in here and renamed each of them hybrid with a number after it and so you can see how quickly and easily uh, that is um, to do and I hope that you've learned a little bit from this tutorial now I'm actually going to uh, move forward to use the editing of the photos if I double click on this it opens it up and I can adjust the exposure and things I'm going to edit them right in here rather than in Photoshop just because it's only for my blog um, you can crop it and everything else um, going to be much easier than uh, opening up my Photoshop elements. Um, have a great day!